Did you know, the more CUDA cores you have typically means that the video card has an overall faster performance. For example, a GeForce GTX Titan Z has 5,760 CUDA cores, and a poor GeForce GT 740 has only 384 CUDA cores. Does this mean its days of usefulness are over, or can it be cleaned up and possibly handle a few light games? I wouldn't mind finding out, maybe you as well. So if this video piques some of your interest, please do stick around. Hello friends, and welcome. First we gotta tear it down to reveal those sensitive parts that we need cleaned. And yes, even a dirty bird needs a bath sometimes. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna clean up this old dirty bird. Okay, so it's all cleaned up and no electronic parts got wet. And um, I'm gonna put it back together and hope for the best because I can't see myself playing games like this. Just, just can't. <laughs> And now with the reassembly all done, I am super, super curious to see what this can do on my old homemade rig. And it has a 771 Intel Xeon running at 4 gigahertz.
So, if it's NVIDIA, the guy with the most CUDA cores will be faster and look superior. If though you are on a budget or just want to set up a rig for the kitties and see those ear to ear smiles, do not be ashamed of the GT740 Superclock 4GB. I'm not. Man, dude, my man, 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 my